Hello guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. Uh, we are in my father's home village. Uh, yesterday we arrived from the longest trip so far and today I wanted to show you what kind of or what I think of the gear that I've be, been using now for 4000 kilometers something like that and uh, yeah what what my honest impressions are after this time and also after uh, riding in the rain yesterday it was raining for three hours straight while we were riding and yeah let me show you uh, yeah what I think of it so let's start with the helmet great everything perfect um, yesterday didn't there was no water inside nothing uh, really nothing to complain about also the intercom works nicely I was listening to music the whole time so yeah nothing to complain about nice helmet you can pull this up and yeah, you have ventilation if you need if you if you need more of that yeah i was using it even in uh, driving school and yeah so far really no negative points at all and you can also nicely mount here the mount for the gopro and inside i have the the lavalier mic so yeah that's that's that the next is my jacket normal motorcycle jacket vortex wasn't that expensive this one was i think around 180 euros it was on sale in winter so everything i pretty much everything uh, i have on myself i bought in winter and yeah just as a side side note uh yeah the jacket it's nice uh, a bit i don't have the liner inside yet it's not that cold yet um yeah, it's a bit hot in the in the summer but you have this uh airflow how do you say it openings you can open them and yeah, you get a bit of air and in the back as well so it's a bit hot in the summer as i said in very hot temperatures but now it's perfect i mean you have nice protection here for the elbows for the back for the arm and yeah this is pretty much it and yes i didn't um i didn't ride in the rain with it yesterday because i had this on this uh rain jacket it's a normal rain jacket it was like 15 20 euros both pants and jacket combined so yeah my father used the pants because he doesn't have only has a jacket and i used this this uh, jacket and yeah wasn't didn't let any uh, rain through so uh, but yeah i plan to use the the pants as well of course and what did i want to say yeah if if, if the jacket is anything like the pants they're both the same company it won't uh, let any water through the pants i was completely dry inside um, i use ski ski um, underwear so now that's a bit colder i put those um how do you say it the shirt and the pants and yeah there was nothing no no um no sign of, of rain getting in uh, also have protection here on the knees and yeah, just solid pants i think they were around 300 euros something like that and the jacket was around 200 250 and that both of us um, made out of the same uh, material so i think the the jacket will also hold rain if it's if i 
for example don't have the waterproof or the the rain gear with me so yeah this is that uh, the only problem I have with the with the pants is you now after 4,000 kilometers of me of me um, going up and on and off the bike you can see here it ripped a little bit on the underside and here as well so yeah that's the only only problem I have if you have maybe some some kind of tip what I could do to fix it uh, I probably have to sew it or something so yeah we'll see but for now it's not bothering me uh, yeah so uh, I'm generally happy with the clothing don't have anything to complain about uh, the boots also had them from the start they were dry completely dry so they say dry star and uh, they were completely dry inside I didn't have any any water or, or anything I have um, the the pants over them of course so yeah and they're comfortable nice to walk in yeah touring touring boots and I think special really that's what I like the most when I was buying so yeah and they had good good reviews okay let's let's do the gloves now I have two pairs the first is uh, the uh, the summer gloves very very nice in the hot days I even use them now 15 degrees um, because they're just comfortable and your hand doesn't sweat if it's a bit if it, if it gets a bit warmer and yeah that's pretty much it great gloves I have them from from the beginning also and so far they're holding up nicely these ones I use this when it's really cold and it gets like under 15 degrees or something and um, yeah they're nice warm use them for uh, when, my, when I was in driving school and yeah for cold they're good but I I um, I tried them on yesterday during rain because they said of course Gore-Tex and I tried them on and they were wet immediately here this was this is this gets soaked immediately if you let go of the of the handle handlebar the throttle here and yeah I mean what's the point then in having having Gore-Tex uh, gloves if they if they don't do anything so for normal riding in a good weather it's okay but uh, in rain I'll, I'll have to use some kind of latex gloves or something or put something over over them if I can get anything that's really water resistant nothing is really waterproof only water resistant so is that everything? I think that's everything let me just show you also the uh, the luggage so the tank bag was dry nothing came in so really happy with that and also the saddle bag perfect um, yeah I'm preparing to pack now because we're leaving home uh, as I said after the trip and yeah the the saddlebag was also completely dry uh, then I have the backpack here also uh, I was using to to store my hard drives to, to keep them with me all the time and yeah just to um, protect them from vibrations and also this one was completely dry inside uh, nothing to complain maybe I should go with the bigger one uh, when I was buying because yeah, I could store a, a few more things inside but yeah for now it's okay 
Oh yeah, I was riding the bike for the first time in in uh, rain. It was quite an experience. But yeah, I will be leaving home. Won't be filming that because um, I already did a tour or a video of me riding from here to home and it's also it will get dark soon so you won't be able to see much anyway so yeah this is it so quick video just because i got a few uh, comments and messages of people asking me what kind of gear i'm using and if i'm happy with it so far it's i don't have much to complain maybe one thing i forgot is the phone the waterproof phone that i use all the time for navigation also perfect uh, i had to disconnect the the cable here so it doesn't get the ring doesn't get inside um, but yeah other than that and then put it here and it was perfect and if i maybe have to charge it at some point i can just put it here under this um, tank bag cover how do you say it? this transparent uh, pocket and char charge it inside as i said i have a a USB hub inside, so yeah. The bike was also f uh, washed for the first time. Looks a bit better than 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 before. Okay, this will be it for the video. Uh, hope you found it useful. I will leave the links to the products in the description. I'm not. Uh, I didn't receive anything for free. I'm not sponsored by anyone, so this was all my personal honest feedback so if you enjoyed it you can give me a like subscribe to the channel if you want to see more and yeah thank you for watching see you in the next video bye